What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And in today's video, man, I'm going to go over really briefly how I do my recruiting. I've seen a ton of videos out there where people kind of trick the system as to say, and I'm a more realistic guy. I like to play the game the way the game is meant to be played. And so I want to show y'all how I recruit. But first, man, let's get a shout out from today's sponsor. Thanks to U4GM sponsorship, they are pro and legit web with over 6,400 comments on Trustpilot, offering cheap college football 25 coin with instant delivery and 100% safe. If you're interested, check the link in the description and use my coupon code DM for 5% off. All right, so guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't be a point extra, man. Become a five star by subscribing to the channel and joining the crew. And I will say this um, this is my dynasty with, uh, I just actually started this dynasty with Akron. Um, and also have some kind of tips for the smaller schools because you're 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 limited on um, with the smaller schools you're limited on how much you can recruit in a week because of your points and so to kind of counteract that guys it, it's almost one of those things you want to double down on the players that you need the most all right I'm starting out with Akron as a offensive coordinator all right so. I'm going to focus on getting some guys for my offense. And I personally always focus on the linemen because without good linemen in this game, it don't matter how good skill guys you got, don't expect to have success. So what you're seeing here is live in my dynasty um, that I just started. We just got drove by Ohio State, but we still put up about 20 something points and over 300 passing yards. Of course, I'm running the beer and shoot. I ain't got my go daddies out there at receiver just yet, but coming soon. Now, understand um, lineman-wise. Now, I like to, my draft, you can see I had 15 targets. But, guys, in actuality, I'm only focusing on these, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven recruits, okay? Because I only have 400 points to deal with. Once I sign them, then I'll focus on signing other people. And I know you're going to say, well, DM, I'll miss out. I can miss out on some good recruits. That's why you focus on the ones that you need the most, these guys are going to turn the program around. I have a tight end, a center, a left guard, a left tackle, a right guard, and a right tackle. Okay, and then uh, also a halfback, you know, whatever. I'm focusing on the line first. All right, so there's a few stages that you have to be aware of. When they're in their, when they're open, that means they haven't narrowed it down to their top eight. Then you have your top eight. Then you have your top five. So what do you do in the first few phases? Open to top eight. Guys, you see what I did. I'm all in. I'm, I'm sending the house. Why? Because this is going to give me the most, uh, probably second to the most. Between close contact and friends and family, you tend to get a lot of information from that. Sending the house uh, gives you a lot of information as well. All right. And so what I do, and this is a kind of a pro tip, is you can go to overview and it'll tell you what their deal breaker is. For this player, it's playing style. Okay. So Sometimes you can go over to recruiting and you can go and look and see, hey, proximity to home already has a green check mark. OK, we already know that playing style is going to have a green check mark, too, because, of course, it's their deal breaker. Now, sometimes in the overview, their deal breaker and then you go to recruiting and it's the same green check mark. So you're kind of at a struggle right there. But. It's always cool whenever they you get some information that isn't involved with their deal breaker. It doesn't affect you when they're in their top eight because the only thing you can do is just contact friends and family, whatever. You can't soft sell, you can't hard sell, you can't sway. Sway is a very, very useful tool that I'm going to try to use later on, but not right now. So what I want to do, okay, because right now we're first on his list and I'm playing with Akron and that's crazy because we just got drove by Ohio State. So it'd be awesome if we can sign this kid. Um, also, the center, first on his list by far. We want to continue this going. The halfback, we're in a battle. We're number two, but he's narrowed it down to his top five. So once they reach their top five, you can do a few. You, everything opens up for you. You can schedule visits, which is very, very important. And another important deal is now we can hard sell and soft sell. Guys, this is a tremendous feature that you need to use as soon as possible with your recruits. So for me right now, sending the house, hey, we're getting some information, but it's not very good. It's not looking good because our school grade is bad. We know that his deal breaker is proximity to home. So what I can do, 
I can go ahead and cancel that. This is going to save you 10 points. And you can either hard sell or soft sell. Soft sell is not going to cost you as much if you're wrong. But if you hard sell and you're wrong, it could hurt you a little bit. But hey, recruiting is all about risk. Now, when you're looking at these pitches, you always know they're going to highlight three. We know that his biggest deal is proximity to home. And the ideal pitch or a hard sell, it's not going to involve any X's. So what I do, I just go through, okay, for him, it's proximity to home. Oh, that includes the X. That's not it. That includes the X. That's not it. Proximity to home. Mm, none of those include the X's. It could be that one. Proximity to home. None of those include the X. It could be that one as well. All right. So it's going to be one of these two that include proximity to home because the rest of them or three, actually, that one doesn't either. So I have three pitches that include proximity to home or four. Actually, I have even more. There's several here that include proximity to home that don't have X's. Now, because I have four, maybe even more than that. Yep. Five. That's another one. I don't want a hard sell right now. OK, for this particular situation, I just want to continue to send the house, man. I just want to continue to send the house, but I need more information. OK, sending the house gives you the maximum influence. That's why we want to keep that. But we can go ahead and schedule a visit. All right. I'm going to need some points. So I'm going to go here. Actually, no, I can't even do that. I would have to take away points. And that's fine because the visit hopefully does a little bit more for me. All right. So let's go ahead and schedule the visit. And you can see here the win loss effect of it. Week six is pretty far out. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So with it just being week two, I don't want to schedule in week three because it doesn't benefit me at all because that's not a quality opponent. Uh, Bowling Green is a good one. Eastern Michigan, Buffalo and Toledo, they're all the same. I want to schedule it for week six, but I'm not gonna schedule it yet because it doesn't matter. If they sign with a school and you have a visit schedule, they're not gonna wait until you know, if they want to sign, they'll go ahead and sign regardless if they have a, a visit left or not. So what I'm going to do, because week six is so far out, I'm going to just keep his the same. I'm going to just continue to send the house. All right. Nothing wrong with that. He's in the top eight. I'll leave that alone. We're actually second on his list. Uh, my right guard. And then uh, that's the guy that I want to target right here. We're pretty low on the list, but we're in the top five. Hopefully we got some good information on recruiting. His deal breaker is proximity to home, which we have an A plus on that. But we also have figured out that Coach Prestige is a big check mark on his. We can schedule a visit also, but we don't want to do that right now because it's so far out. So let's see. Let's go to hard sell and see if we can match proximity to home and Coach Prestige with another question mark. So we know the proximity to home ones were grassroots. That doesn't include Coach Prestige aspirational doesn't include coach prestige hometown hero doesn't include coach prestige uh you have campus personality that doesn't as well and let's see proximity to home proximity to home proximity to home that one doesn't include it but this one does but notice there's an x which tells us this still isn't the ideal pitch so you should be able to find one that has both of those green proximity to home as well as coach prestige uh both highlighted and once you find that then you know that that is uh the best pitch possible for your guy it's going to be coach's favorite why because all the other ones that include proximity home and coach prestige had an x in it this one doesn't so we can go ahead and hard sell this now understand guys <laughs> we don't have the best athletic facilities and our coach prestige isn't the best but by hard selling no other school can utilize that pitch all right so it, it even tells you whenever you look at it on the hard sell it says awards the most influence when choosing the correct ideal pitch we found the correct ideal pitch because it's all greens all right as far as their favorites or whatever they're what they're looking at but also has the largest penalty when wrong most useful when you know the recruiter's ideal pitch or you're desperate. In this case, we're desperate, all right? And so we got 10 points left. I don't want to schedule a visit yet, but we still want to gain some influence. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll just go here and add DM the player. That's what I do personally, all right? And then we wait a week, all right? Because my other guy, he's only in the top eight. Now, I still have 30 hours left, 
So, you know, I, I can go through here. I do want to um, add some to these other guys because I always put my sort on national rank uh, because sometimes I don't always set up my depth chart uh, to be the highest. Um, and this is really interesting because Jay Turpin, I have not done anything but offered him a scholarship, and yet I'm still finding out stuff about him and these other players too. So, I don't know. It's all about influence. You're going to gain information on them regardless. Okay. So I want to add an action to him. Let's just DM him right now and add some points to some of these other uh, recruits that we are trying to land. I do need a quarterback. He is an improviser. So we will just add the 10 points to him. All right. Don't worry about these other guys down here. I mean, they got points on them too and stuff like that. We're his top five. And actually, I, I actually didn't even... Um, I didn't even notice that. Let's go back. We're going to have to take this off. And that is perfectly fine, guys. I'm doing this live and you seeing how it works. All right. Well, not live, but as I'm recording per se. All right. So I want to take these off because I'm going to need these points. Okay. I'll be back to that. So with him, I want to take away social media. I want to take away DM and the player because we've already found his ideal pitch. Like I said, I don't want to schedule a, 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 a visit with any of these guys just yet because now, I could possibly get locked out of week six, but that's a risk I'm willing to take for right now. He's a deep threat guy. I've already scouted him. This is the type of GoDaddy that I need in my veer and shoot. 93 speed, 91 acceleration, 75 on the deep route, but that'll get better. Um, and so since I know all three of his ideal pitches easy, I just go through and find uh, which one matches all three of those. And you think doing this enough, I would memorize these by now. So it's game time, which, hey, playing time is an A, that's good. Proximity to home, A+, plus, that's good. Conference prestige is not as good, but I don't think it's actually going to hurt us as much uh, because when you look at who we're recruiting against, I don't know, man. Ohio State ain't offering them. Michigan State have and Cincinnati has. So hopefully, since we got the hard sell, that will help us out. And just to kind of push the envelope, because this is a guy I really need on my team, I'm going to add some more recruiting points to him. All right. And so going back out, we have Rutgers this week and we would play this game. I'm going I am going to play this game. Can't afford to lose this game. But that's pretty much it as far as recruiting. Now, that's how I do my recruiting. And you're going to look at this every week. And what you're going to have to do is pay attention to whether they're, they're in their top five, guys. And you have enough information. Go ahead and start hard selling. OK. Also, your coaches, um, in which this is a brand new dynasty. I don't have the coaching skill tree unlocked just yet, but a very important one to get. Um, I always do the tactician because it makes your players instantly better. Like this top row, all it does is make them better. Now, as far as recruiting, the most that I would do, um, I would do some recruiting here when I eventually unlock the next tier. Um, a really good one to have is the very first one on all of these because it gains interest for every 10 hours spent and you get up to like 50 hours, 65, 70 hours sometimes depending on your recruiting stuff that can come in handy. But as far as trying to build up a good team or a bad team, make them good guys, you're going to be able to recruit eventually regardless, especially if you're winning and your coach prestige is high and stuff like that because winning improves your school's rating so at the end of the day ruining winning games is more important than recruiting initially all right so understanding that tactician is an extremely good class to have because all of these are just going to do nothing but boost my guys now i'm an offensive coordinator so i'm going to max these four out first okay it's going to be difficult to get to this next tier because i mean you're not going to be playing many top 10 games and with a low level school good luck trying to win those so that's it in a nutshell, man. As far as recruiting, it's super easy in my personal opinion. And it is really a set it and forget it kind of deal. Because once, I mean, you're only paying attention to once they get into your top five. Because other than that, all you can do is, you know, send the house or friends and family or something like that. Now, once they get into your top five, like I said, that's when you want to come into their uh, recruiting tab. And you want to look and see, hey, can I match three stars? Or can I match three check marks? Do I how many check marks do I have? If I got two, I could find the other one. Easy peasy. Or even take a risk at that point. Go ahead and start hard selling at that point. It's going to help you out in the long run. All right. So I hope this video has been helpful, guys. Y'all have an amazing rest of your day. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.